Ladies and gentlemen, dear internet users, you're all welcome to this new edition of the Press Review on GDC Plus TV. Today is Monday, October 12, and the press treat diverse issues, including back to school. The Guardian Post newspaper headlines, one week after resumption, Northwest, Southwest record highest school attendance since 2017. According to education officials in the regions, the attendance within the first week of reopening is already more than 90% of the anticipated turnout for the entire academic year. The paper adds that stakeholders are upbeat that with the increasing calls for children to return to the classrooms from different sectors, including some Ambazonia leaders, the number of children on campuses this week could double the figures recorded just one week into the new academic year. Details on page 3. In this edition of the Guardian Post, we equally talk tax on digital gadgets. The paper says it goes operational on Thursday. The set law imposes a levy of 30% tax on imported electronic gadgets. A recent communique jointly signed by the ministers of Post and Telecommunications and Finance states that the move falls in context with the 2020 finance law. Get more insight on this new law on page 5 of today's edition of the Guardian Post. Before we move into the next paper, let's mention the sport news. The Guardian Post says that due to the Faker Food Professional League saga, Cameroon risks losing the African Nations Championship in Africa Cup of Nations hosting as FIFA threatens sanction. The same story finds voice on the Post newspaper, which carries as main headline, Faker Food LFPC Broglio may cost Cameroon's Shan Afcon hosting as FIFA warns about impending suspension. In effect, in a correspondence addressed to Faker Food, the World Football Governing Body rejects the committee set up by the Minister of Sports and Physical Education, Professor Narcis Mwelekombi, to follow up the implementation of the decision of the Court of Arbitration for Sports and says no inference from a third party should be exerted on one of its member associations. For more on this, spare yourself 400 francs and have the full story in today's edition of the Post newspaper. We talk back tax on mobile phones and tablets with the Advocate newspaper. It says activists cry foul, say it's an assault on citizens' fundamental human rights. Apart from this reaction, the Advocate presents the explanations of the Minister of Post and Telecommunications and other stakeholders on how this law works and insist it is not a new one. More insight on page 10. Pre-electoral petitions, the disturbing scenario in FACO as fraud is alleged, headlines the media newspaper. The paper highlights that petitions implicate a LECAM, Southwest Governor and others. Meanwhile, the administrative court is set to rule on the petitions tomorrow, Tuesday, October 13. Let's end this press review with the Star newspaper. The paper headlines on U.S.'s clarifications of our claims it envisaged deploying military to address the four years long Anglophone crisis in Cameroon. In a communique made public by the U.S. Embassy in Cameroon, it is clearly stated that Donald Trump's country has no interest in such interventions. And that does it for what the papers had to say today. A big thank you for watching. Get to watch other interesting videos on our YouTube channel, GDC Plus TV.